Hey, I'm team behavior expert Josh Shipp, and today I want to talk to you about sort of what to do if you find out that your kid is sending sexually explicit pictures or videos to someone else. This, this is often referred to as sexting. Now, most parents understandably are floored and shocked and angry and embarrassed by this. And the natural questions begin to bubble up. You know, what do I do now? What do I say? How can I make this stop? I'm here to help you deal with these questions that you're probably having. So how do you deal with this? Um, this is where this gets tricky because your instinct is apparent. You know, you want them to stop immediately. But telling your kid what not to do can often result in rebellion. But you also can't just tell them that what they're doing is okay because obviously it's not. So if you can't tell them no, and you can't tell them yes, then what are you going to do? Well, here's my advice to you. Instead of telling them what to do, you're going to explain to them what you are going to do. So here's what I would say. Uh, you know, I would sit my kid down and say, look, your body is your body, and you're going to do whatever you're going to choose to do with your body. But as your parent, here is what I am going to do because I love you and I care about you. Uh, you know, I'm happy to give you all of these wonderful privileges like having a cell phone and a computer as long as I'm confident that you're using them in a responsible way. And so obviously that means no sexting. If that's what you choose to do, I will have to revoke some privileges. I have a legal and moral responsibility as your parent until I can have confidence that this won't happen again. So if this happens, I will take away your cell phone, I will take away your computer, and I will take away all private access to electronic devices. And then you say this, I'm not telling you what to do, I'm telling you what I'm going to do. Does that make sense? So that's your strategy. Now, what kind of consequences should you put in place? Well, phones should never be used for pornography or sexting or cyberbullying. And if your kid is sexting, uh, three things need to happen. Number one, you need to take their phone away. I encourage all parents to have a contract associated uh, with their kid's phone that sort of clearly lays out the expectations of phone usage. And the phone is not to be used for pornography or sexting or cyberbullying or any of these sorts of things. So if any of these things happen while the phone um, is being used and the parent has a responsibility to take the phone away from the kid until the parent can have confidence that it won't happen again. Secondly, you need to have a heart-to-heart -heart with your kid and try to understand why this is happening and why they're behaving in this way. You know, it could be something as simple as they are attracted to this other person and then, you know, your kid's hormones sort of, you know, took over and caused them to do something foolish and make a mistake. All right? This doesn't make your kid evil. It makes them human. You know, they made a mistake. They are not a mistake. So, you know, they didn't probably start the relationship off intending to send a sexually explicit photo, but over the course of the relationship, hormones took, took over and sort of led them down a dangerous road. So, if the reason that the kid engaged in sexing is more complicated and the issues seem like deep needs, you know, maybe fears or addictions, uh, then I recommend seeking out a local professional counselor to help your kid navigate through these internal problems that they are struggling with. Now finally, you always want to have these clear expectations written out ahead of time in the form of a contract so that when the kid makes a mistake like this, you can unemotionally lower the boom of consequences, right? Uh, because the job of a kid is to push the boundaries, but the job of a parent is to hold the boundaries and present consequences when the boundaries are broken. It is actually through holding the boundaries that you give your kid an opportunity to emotionally mature, develop, and grow up. Now, it's not an easy job to do this, but it is our job as parents to make sure that our kids are living uh, in a situation where consequences are clear and written out, and so that can help them emotionally develop. Good luck.